They took the whole rack. One person carried the whole thing out. Stacy LeBlanc was scheduled to open the store on March 19th. When she came in, glass covered the floor from the front window and the case of scratch ticket on the counter was gone. It's a little unnerving because I just don't, you never know, you know, but divine timing. She says there are 40 different scratch tickets in the case with about 150 tickets of each kind. It's thousands of dollars. It looks like they're mainly targeting the lottery tickets. Uh, however, in one of ours, they tried to take some tobacco products too. Wyndham Police Chief Michael Karen says they're also seeing similar thefts. Two in the last six days. One on the 23rd at Howie Glenn and Sons convenience store and one just this morning at the Wyndham Variety Store. And they were in and out within less than a minute or two. Police were warning stores in the area about the robberies. The owner of Wyndham Variety called 911 this morning, watching the break-ins in real time at home on security video. We responded, you know, based on that. By the time they got there, the two subjects had left the area. The chief says the Variety store's security cameras caught this masked subject outside canvassing the store early this morning. Their cameras did not see the getaway car, but Chief Karen believes in Seabrook, a blue BMW was there. At this time, he says there has not been a threat to the public. As far as I know, they're doing it when the stores are closed. And no arrests have been made. There have been reports of similar robberies in Merrimack, Fremont, as well as in Massachusetts. The New Hampshire Lottery Commission says they are aware of these robberies and working with local authorities in the past. The commission has told us that stolen scratch tickets are flagged and cannot be redeemed if they're winning tickets. We're live in Seabrook. Kelly O'Brien, WMUR News 9.